joined by the former interim heavyweight champion Cyril Garn. First time in London, I hear. Yeah, never been there before, and I'm really happy. I just saw yesterday. I had, I enjoyed my night yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beautiful city. I love that. Great. Well, I hope you see, get to see a lot more of it. Look, you're here, obviously, to watch UFC London, and at the top of the bill is a heavyweight fight, Tom Aspinall against yeah. Alexander Volkov. Mm -hmm. You fought and beat Volkov before, so you obviously know a lot about him. What do you make of Tom Aspinall? Thomas Minala, I don't know if I, if I need to talk about this guy. This is a really well wonderful fighter, a huge fighter, and I think he's the, best, the big next thing uh, to this division. And uh, a lot of people are comparing me with, uh, with him because uh, we are the new generation of this division. And for Saturday, I don't know exactly what's going to happen because I, I have also a big respect for Volkov, a big respect for, for, for this fighter, for the, the, the human. So. I don't know who's going to win this weekend, but it's going to be a tough, a tough fight, a really tough fight. I like what you said, you know, the comparisons between yourself and Tom, because you are being described as this new breed of heavyweight fighter, lighter, faster, the movement, etc. So can you see yourself potentially facing Tom some, somewhere down the line if he continues to go up the ranks? This is not, this is not a question. This is not a question. So I'm here for, uh, for long years and him also. So yes, of course, we're going to fight when, when, one day together. With pleasure. This is a pleasure. This is a sport. I love that. Absolutely. And let's talk about yourself. The last time we spoke was after UFC 270 out in California. Uh, how have you reflected on that fight with Francis Ngannou since? What have you, what have you taken away from it? Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy about this, ex this, uh, this experience. I make some mistake, so I learn a lot. And uh, I think it was not my day. Because I, I had everything to in my pocket for winning this, uh, this, this, this fight, but I don't, I don't want. So it was not my day. That's it. What do you take from that? Is there anything you say, well, okay, we need, we're going to work more on this? Or, you know, maybe if I get to fight Francis again, depending on obviously what happens with contracts and injuries and so forth, this is what I'd do different. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen exactly. But yes, when I talk with the UFC, with the people, my answer is just no matter, like, a, you know, <laughs> anyone, anywhere, like, yeah. like, I know, no matter who, no matter where, I'm here, I want to do my job. Yeah. That's it, you know. <laughs> well, what, what if I throw out names to you, like Stipe Miocic or Taito Avassar as well? I've seen, you know, your name be linked with him on social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, no matter, no matter who, yeah, anyone. And uh, yes, I saw Tru Azar. He won, he did a, he did a really great fight again, uh, again, Derek. And yeah, there are Stipe, there are maybe John Jones, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, let's not forget John Jones. Hopefully this year, 2022, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll see John. That's a big name fight. So that's got to be oh, one yeah. that you're... That's perfect for my pocket, yeah. <laughs> and the divisions, it's quite wide open in a sense, the heavyweight division, because, you know, Francis is recovering from the knee surgery. Yeah. We don't know what's happening with the contracts, as I said. And yeah. there's a lot of you gunning behind. So how far off do you think you are from another title shot? This is a great question. Uh, now today we can see uh, Europe. It's open now for yeah. the UFC. Uh, it will be great to have this exactly the same in Paris, yeah. oh. the first event in Paris yeah. in September, like that, okay. something like that. I don't know exactly. Yeah. I don't know exactly. But yes, this is a this is a great timing. To have you fight in Paris, I mean, you're going to see the UK fans here for all yeah. the UK athletes, and to have that same experience in Paris after you know Vegas and the Apex or whatever. I mean, how will that feel to you to fight in front of your home crowd? Should it happen this year? Probably it will be really huge. I know we don't have exactly the same fun like uh, like uh, like uh, England. Everybody know uh, in England uh, the, the fun are really crazy. But in France the, the people love uh, love uh, love UFC, love MMA. So and the people can wait for the first event in Paris. So pro probably it will be a, a success for sure. Cannot wait. I hope that happens. Fingers crossed. As for now, what other fights you're looking forward to on this UFC London card? My prediction for the fight? Or any other fights you're looking forward to? Uh, what are you say? Sorry. What other fights are you looking forward to tomorrow night? What other fighters do you want to watch? We got Dan Hooker, we got other Volkov. fighters. Aspinal again for Volkov. Yeah. This is my division. Yeah. So, uh, and, and seriously, it's going to be really, really tough. Yeah. Really tough, yeah. I don't know who's going to win, but high level, high level in the striking, really good level in the wrestling. I think who's going to win is. Uh, the guy gonna 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 find the solution, you see?
but I don't know who. We will see. That's what we will indeed. <laughs> Heavyweight division, anything happen. It's a pleasure talking to you. Merci beaucoup. We'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you.